Algebra 1, we're going to be doing our video today. Uh, this is um, graphing using intercepts. And this is section 3-1, part B. First of all, an intercept. That's where a linear function crosses an axis. Where a linear function, that makes a line, crosses an axis. And I'm going to give you some examples here. So I'm just going to sketch four little coordinate planes. I don't want you to use your big ones yet. Um, and I'm going to show you here. All right, we have two intercepts here. The first intercept is, oops, I'm going to orient this quick. And my first intercept is on the x-axis, and that's the point negative 2, 0. And the other axis has an intercept, and it is the point 0, 4. Okay, my next linear function also has two intercepts. And the first intercept is on the x-axis. And it's right here, and it's at the point 5, 0. And my other intercept is on the y-axis, and it's on the point 0, 1. I didn't draw it exactly right. Just forgive me for that. I did the best that I could. Um, next, on this third graph, my two intercepts. My intercept on the x-axis is the point 2, 0. And then my intercept on the y-axis is the point 0, negative 3. And lastly, my last point um, has one intercept right here, and that is the point 0, 2. And that is also a y-intercept. Now, when we look at all of the purples, they all have a 0 for the x, don't they? And when we look at all the reds, Chance and Ira, please call the office. Chance and Ira, call the office. The reds all have a zero in the y. So the x-intercepts have a zero in the y, and the y-intercepts have a zero in the x. Um, we're going to look at equations for in just a minute. Right now, I'd like you, as your first secret problem, to look at these two graphs and tell me the intercepts. Okay, tell me the two intercepts on graph number one. And then here's graph number two. Um, and tell me your two intercepts, your x and your y intercept on that graph as well. Um, now, when we, we notice that when we have an intercept, one of the two coordinates is zero, either the x coordinate or the y coordinate. So here are our steps for finding the intercepts. So to find intercepts, if we're just given an equation, first of all, we substitute 0 for x, then we solve for y, we solve for y, and then we write that as a point. Write as a point. A point is a coordinates. We almost want to call it coordinates. Then number four, substitute 0 for y. Solve for x. And then write as a point. I first, I'm going to do two examples for you, bit of this for you, and I'm going to uh, give you a secret problem. So we're just about done. So my first one, if I have the equation, 
3x minus 4y equals 8. And we know that is a linear function. We know that will make a line because it has an x and a y. Um, so my first step, substitute 0 for x. So I'm going to take 3 times 0. Here was the x. I'm putting a 0 in there. Minus 4y equals 8. Then I solve for y. 3 times 0 is 0. 0 minus 4y is a negative 4y. And now I just have one step left. I have to divide by negative 4. So y equals negative 2. Now I write that as a point. I put 0 in for x. So it's 0, negative 2. Okay, and now I am going to do number 4. I'm going to substitute 0 for y. So I have 3x minus 4 times 0 equals 8. 4 times 0 is 0. So I have 3x equals 8. Divide each side by 3. X equals 8 thirds, or 2 and 2 thirds are like 2.7. So it's 2.70 is that point. So now I have my two intercepts. So I graph those. 0, negative 2, that goes right here. And 2.70 would be about right here. I connect those two, and there is my line. Okay, I'm going to do one more with you. And when I, let's see, we'll try that one um, right here. Let's see, it's y equals a negative 2x plus 3. I put 0 in for x. Negative 2 times 0 is 0, so 0 plus 3 is 3. So I solve that for y, and then I write as a point. I put 0 in for x, y is 3. Now I'm doing number 4. I substitute 0 for y. y equals a negative 2x plus 3. It says I have to solve for x. This is x right here. Whoops. That's an x. Sorry. There we go. Now we'll come back here. And I had to subtract 3 from each side. Negative 3 equals negative 2x. Solve for x. Divide by negative 2. Negative 3 divided by negative 2 is 1.5. So my point is 1.50. I then graph those two points. 1.50 is right there. 0, 3 is, whoops, right there. Connect them. I know I didn't do a great job. Give me some grace. That's the best I can do. Your secret problem is negative 2x plus y equals 7. Find the two intercepts and sketch a small graph. You can do um, that. Just sketch it. The other two, if you wanted to do on your graphs, that's fine. And we'll see you later. Bye.